Hola a todos! Welcome to our audio number 10 in our series of vocab building for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Now, we're into the letter I, la I. And what's really interesting about this, I've noticed, is that there are such a lot of the I words that we have in English that are very, very similar. So you'll see that as we go through. Now, the first word is and this probably could be con construed as a false friend. It could be seen as a false friend. Okay, it's the word for excitement. All right? Now, excitement is ilusión. Ilusión. Illusion. Okay? Ilusión. So, the way to remember that is it's, you think, well, this is not real excitement. It's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. I'm not really excited. Illusion. Okay. What about this one? What do, you, what do you think this word is? Información or información. Yeah, information. So it's virtually the same word. Información, información. Mm -hmm. The word for England, okay, the country England, is Inglaterra. Inglaterra. So what I'd like you to imagine is that you've got a map of England. Okay, you take it and you tear it down the middle. Inglaterra. Okay, Inglaterra. Okay, lots of... Um, England is obviously just one country in the United Kingdom. Um, but in Spain, for, for example, most people say England and the, the mean the whole place okay lots of people are confused about that bien next one english now english and again people just like spain and spanish people get england and english mixed up and so the word for english is inglés 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 okay and so it sounds similar english inglés Okay, or oh, it sounds like somebody very posh saying, um, in England we drink our sherry in a glass. Okay, English. Okay, next one, college. Now this is college that you, when you go to after school, okay, when you're sort of 17, 18. And college is instituto. Instituto. Okay, instituto. And so, how you can remember it is if you think of like an institute of language. An institute of language is like a college of language, so instituto. Instituto. Okay. What about this one? What do you think this one means? Interesante. Interesante. Yeah interesting okay so all that's happened is uh, there's just they've got an ante on the end okay so just think of i've got an interesting ante i have got an i've got a number of interesting andes interesante so this is how you do it you say hmm que interesante okay that makes you look very intelligent okay when you say that um what about this Inland or the interior, but inland, if you want to talk about inland, sort of uh, away from the coast, then you would use interior. Interior. So it's interior. It's, it is the same word. They just have to, you have to pronounce it in a Spanish way, obviously. Interior. Okay. Interior. The same. And again, another word that's very similar is the word intermediate, intermediate, which is intermedio. Intermedio, okay? So it's virtually the same, intermedio. Now, the only thing you must be careful of with, with words like M-E-D-I-O, we want to say medio because that's how we would say it in English. So we'd say intermedio, but no. Remember the vowels in Spanish, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. They never change, okay? 
it makes it makes Spanish so much easier because you don't have to worry about changing the sounds of the vowels. So it's intermedio always, okay? Intermedio. And again, this one, nice and simple. Internet, the internet. Now we tend to we we tend to say the internet, okay, when we talk about it. And I tend to hear it not with the, the in Spanish, and they just say internet. Okay, can you hear that all the emphasis is on the end of the last E, internet, okay? So, yo trabajo en internet, not en el internet, okay? Internet. And then this one, investigation, okay? Investigación o investigación. So, it, very, very similar, isn't it, eh? Investigación, investigación, investigation. And then we come back to um, the word left, okay? Now, we've already covered that when we did right, but I'll just quickly review it. So, left is, if you hold your left hand up, you've got a key in it, okay? Because it's izquierda. Izquierda. This key here, dear, is on my left. Izquierda. So if you always remember that you've got a key in your left hand, when you hear it, you, you realize that means left, izquierda. And then you're reaching out to the right, you're reaching out derecha. Derecha, de reaching. Derecha, okay? Izquierda, derecha. All right. Bien. Okay, so let's review. I'll give you the Spanish and you give me the English. Now remember, when you're reviewing this, also work with the English and try and work out the Spanish, okay? You do that with from the book. Now, first word, ilusión. Ilusión. What is it? It's not illusion, it's excitement, exactly. It's not real excitement, it's just an illusion. Okay, ilusión. What about this one? Información o información. Yeah, it's the same, isn't it? Information. Information. What about this one? Inglaterra. Inglaterra. Tearing the map of England. England, yeah. And this, English, English, it's English, English. We drink sherry in a glass, okay? And just be aware, look at the accent, English, English, okay? Because if you put the word, the accent on the I, it changes the meaning to crotch. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to be walking around saying crotch. I live in crotch, yeah? Oh, I am crotch. Okay, so, um, next one, instituto, instituto. So it's an institute of language, it's a college, college. Okay, and this one, interesante. Interesante, of course. Interesting. And then, interior. Interior. So that can be what? It's the same word, isn't it? Interior or inland, the interior of a country. Mm -hmm. The reason that comes up is that Victor prefers to live inland in Spain. En el interior. Okay, and this one, intermedio. Intermedio. Intermediate, yeah. So you could describe your Spanish, for example, you could say, tengo un español intermedio. I have an intermediate Spanish, yeah. Um, internet. 
internet internet okay so just miss out the the okay internet and skew the and skew the emphasis to the last day internet this one investigacion investigacion investigation exactly same word same word and then okay i'll give you the two words you tell me which is right which is left derecha izquierda derecha izquierda which is left which is right derecha right izquierda left this key here dear izquierda okay bueno ya hemos terminado las i we finished the i's um so i will see you in the next audio and the next video and we're going to be moving into las jotas so start practicing your j's okay hasta luego